All right, guys, so is this watch going to make you want to jump, jump, or are you going to be like me and be a white man who can't jump? Sorry, I just couldn't resist. But now the terrible puns are out of the way, let's get down to the watch. So this is the Pierre Paulin non-jump hour. So slightly different to the one you might have seen before, which is the jump hour version, but they do actually have a few different variations. So they have the jump, the non-jump one. They also have some different dial colours, different case options as well. So if you check out the link in the description, you'll be able to see all the different ones you can get. So another thing that you might get that might be different to this is this case. So they're all going to have the McCurr brand on because this is part of the McCurr group. But obviously this is a weird kind of camo one. I've had different ones for pretty much every McCurr watch I've had. Some have been plain, some have been two-tone. Obviously this one a camo. So it's a bit of a lucky dip what you're going to get, which I do actually quite like. I think it's a bit of fun. And here is the actual watch. So as I obviously alluded to in the intro, this is the non-jump hour version. But as I say, you can get the jump hour one as well. And I think it looks pretty good either way. I actually wanted to get the silver version of this one. Well, the silver dial version. But they weren't in stock at the time, so I went with the salmon. And I wanted to go with that one because it's probably something you haven't seen. Because I know this salmon version has been reviewed before. Well, at least the jump hour version. I don't think the non-jump hour version has. So hopefully this is something a little bit different for you. But before we go into any more detail, first of all, let's go over the dimensions. So we've got a diameter of 38mm. Thickness is 13, but quite a bit of that is actually because of the crystal. We've got this really nice top hat style crystal. Then we've got a lug width of 20mm, and then the all important lug to lug is coming in at 46.5, so that's nice and compact. In terms of the weight on this supplied leather strap, it's coming in at about 64 grams. So seeing as we're talking about it, let's take a closer look at that and talk about that in a bit more detail. Starting with the buckle. So it's unbranded. Apparently the Jump Hour one, some of the reviews I've seen, they have the McCurr branding on the back of it, but this one doesn't. It's completely sterile. When it comes to the strap, it's a really nice one. So we've got one fixed keeper, one floating, nicely stitched. And then if we flick it over, we have actually got the McCurr branding on the back, but it's fairly subtle, you can't really see it. And that is because it is part of the McCurr group. You can also see there, we've got a quick release, so that's always good to see. Now when it comes to this case back, this is pretty interesting, not one I've seen before. So at first I couldn't quite make out what it was. Then I realised it's the face and hands of a watchmaker. And then you've got the watch in there as well. That is quite a nice little touch. Something a bit different. And then we've got some specs below that. So all stainless steel, water resistant 50 metres. And the fact that it's mechanical only, this one. Obviously that'll depend on which version you go for. If you go for the Jumbo one, that is automatic as well, I think. And then we've also got the fact that it's shockproof. And it is a screw down case back as well. So, overall, pretty interesting. Not the nicest looking of designs, but as I say, it is interesting. Something a bit different. So now let's flick around to the side of the watch, talk about the case in a bit more detail. So you can see we've got that pretty slim mid case there, and then we've got that two-step bit just above that. We've also got drilled lugs, which is nice to see. So swapping the strap out on this is really easy with the drilled lugs and quick release. We've also got that signed crown there, but it is the McCurr logo on there, the M, as opposed to Pierre Paulin. But again, it is part of the McCurr group, so I guess it's kind of all right. They tend to do that on a lot of their sub-brands as well. And now we're zoomed in as well, you can see a bit more clearly that really nice domed crystal. As you're probably well aware by now, I really do like a domed crystal. But now let's get on to the main draw with this watch, that's the dial. So, as I said, I've got the salmon version, but they also do silver. I think they do a red one, a green one, and I think there might be a few others I'm forgetting. Again, link down in the description if you want to check them all out. So there's actually quite a bit of depth to this dial. So the centre section is actually slightly sunken, and then we've got that detailing with the radial effect. And then at the bottom of that, we've got that subdial, which again is slightly sunken. I'm not overly keen on the way it cuts into the hours, well, minutes on this, especially because part of that number is cut off. I'd rather they just got rid of that altogether. There's no point in having half of it. I think it just looks a bit funny. So obviously we've got the minutes there instead of the hours because it's the same dial as the jump hour version, but obviously we don't have the hour function with the jump hour. So we've still got the minutes around the outside instead of the hours. That might be a bit of an issue for some people. I personally don't mind it. Again, it's just something a little bit different. Obviously you can still tell the time perfectly fine. And then on the edge of that ring, we've got a little bit of detailing, which hopefully will come up in the macro shots. And then just beyond that, we've got the minute track. When it comes to the hands, they might appear to be blued, but I think they are just painted a metallic blue. They still look good, but that's kind of forgivable given the price. I think they see the watch really nicely, and the proportions are really good as well, so no issues with that. And the only other thing we've got on the dial is the branding at the top on that little kind of plaque bit, 
And obviously, if you go for the jump hour version, you'll have that jump hour window there instead. And then the branding will be pushed down just below that. And you can also see we've got a nice bit of distortion from that crystal because of the curvature on it. So it just distorts around the edge of the dial ever so slightly. I know some people aren't keen on that, but again, that's something I quite like. But the question is, is it sapphire or not? Let's find out now. Using the trusty Diamond Selector 2. And no, we don't have sapphire. We've only got K1 mineral crystal on this. So it's a good quality mineral crystal, but it is mineral nonetheless. Which I guess is in keeping with the style of watch, but personally I prefer to see sapphire on it. Let me know down in the comments what you prefer for this kind of style of watch. So obviously with it being a dressier watch, we haven't got any loom on this, so we're not going to be doing a loom shot. So now let's get onto the movement and talk about that in a bit more detail. So the jump hour version has a Seagull ST17, but this one has actually got a slightly different movement. It doesn't specify on the list and what it actually is. They just say it's a customised mechanical hand winding movement. I think it's some kind of variation on the Tongji Chinese ones. So fairly basic, but they've altered it somehow. So we've got a push ball crown. Just got the one position. So if we pull it out, you can see we don't have hacking. And then we can just change the time. Works well enough, but as I say, it's fairly basic. Pop the crown back in. And then obviously we have hand winding. Nice smooth action, no issues with that. So I don't have a lot of information on this because as I say, McCurr just don't specify too much about it, which I do kind of have a bit of an issue with. I wish they'd be a bit more specific of what the actual movement is and what they've done to it. But as far as I can tell, the power reserve should be around 35, 40 hours. So before I show you what it's like on wrist and we go over the pros and cons, I just want to talk about the fact that I've actually got a discount code for this. So if you use the discount code McCurrWatch045, you'll get $20 off. And that's on any of the different variations. They do slightly vary in price, so I can't give you an exact price depending on which one you go for. For this particular one, it's $111 after you use that discount code. So now that's out of the way, I'll show you what it's like on wrist, go over the pros and cons, and then you can decide whether you want to pick one of these up or not. And here it is on my 7 inch wrist. So I think it wears really nicely. And I actually do like it as well, despite this not being the colour I actually wanted. I think it does look good. Wears nicely on wrist with that compact look to look. Straps nice and comfortable, nice and soft, supple, no breaking period at all. And despite having a fully brushed case, because we've got that stepped case, it does actually play with the light a little bit. So that is quite nice. And again, that nice bit of light play with that crystal and the bit of distortion you get. Just, again, I just really like that. Got some nice detailing and depth on that dial. And again, nice and legible with the contrast between the hands and the dial colour. And I think that works well with the silver as well. Obviously I can't really comment on the other ones, but I was going to go for the silver, so I know that one looks quite good too. With some of the other colour dials, I think like the red and the green, they have different colour hands, so they should complement quite nicely as well. But obviously I can't comment on them, because I just haven't had experience with those. So overall, I do think it is a nice watch. It's not perfect, there's definitely some things that I would change. Like I'd like to have the branding consistent across the whole of the watch. Just have it all Pierre Paulin or all McCurr. Don't do this weird mix of the two. That being said though, the bits you can see when you're actually wearing the watch, they're all Pierre Paulin. There's no McCurr visible when it's on your wrist, so that is good. As I said earlier, personally I'd prefer it to have Sapphire, but I can understand why they haven't. It's kind of in keeping with the retro kind of look and feel, but some might say it's a cost saving thing. It's one of them. Depends on your point of view, I guess. The only other thing that I'm really a little bit funny about is the movement. They just need to be more specific about what the movement is on the actual website and go into detail of what they've done to it if they've customised it, just so it's a bit more clear. But depending on your point of view, those issues I've mentioned could be quite minor. It's definitely got some positives, like the quick release strap, the drilled lugs, the nice distortion on the crystal, the nice stepped case, that interesting dial, and it's just got some really nice overall dimensions. Nice and compact, so it should suit a lot of different wrist sizes. But if you're not keen on this particular one, and you want to check out some of the other sub-brands, I've got a few others down here. So if you want to see the reviews of them, I'll leave a link to them up on the top. And I'll also leave a link down in the description to the playlist for all the different McCurr and their sub-brand watches that I've reviewed so far on the channel. Because they do have some interesting stuff. They tend to do things a little bit differently than a lot of other AliExpress brands. You definitely won't be getting anything like a Submariner homage from them. They tend to go more dressy and also more vintage. So if that appeals to you, 
Check out the link in the description as I say. But that's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.